Bitcoin is pumping right now to the upside, but there are also a big, big warning sign on this pump here right now unfolding. So, and I will definitely talk about this just in a second. But if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and also leave a like if you enjoy this content and activate the notification bell so that we will never miss out on these important updates, especially in times like these when we are pumping here uh, um, yeah, in this very moment. So guys, and now let's get here directly into the content. I don't want to waste here any time. So uh, first of all, I, um, I want to show you. So we have one day left to close here. So one day and nine hours uh, to close the weekly candle above the $41,151 level. And remember, I had told you, if we uh, stay above this level here, most likely the bottom is all the way down, um, down there already in. <clears throat> and we will see that a reversal here back to the upside to complete this W pattern. But this is not what I wanted actually to talk about today. So you can see here that we have, uh, that we have broken out here to the upside. We had here a massive pump yesterday uh, that did not stop. Um, even now it's not stopping to pump here. <coughs> Sorry guys. Um, uh, to go here to the upside. So we had here a massive candle to the upside. We broke into this uh, resistance zone here. And Bitcoin did not really wait long to also crush through this resistance zone further to the upside by forming here um, a bull flag. So that bull flag broke out here. So then um, we got the next bull flag and this bull flag is also breaking out right now. So, but what is then the next uh, technical target? So if this bull flag is playing out right now on the one hourly chart, then the next target would be almost $43,000, $42,888. Dollars. So I put this here a little bit to the side that you can see this. So, but now let me show you why we should be here careful. And we see actually right now the rejection, uh, a small rejection happening here. So, and let me show you from where this rejection is actually coming. And that's um, the point that I wanted to make here with, with this warning today. <clears throat> so if we're taking here the horizontal ray, you can see that we are running right now here into this resistance zone here at uh, $41,735 approximately. So actually, let me push this here a little bit more to the side. There. So you can then also see when I squeeze this like this together, so that this is also a significant level for Bitcoin right now because it was support and resistance here. So it was support and resistance over here. Here it was then turning into resistance and now Bitcoin is retesting for the first time since um, last month, January. So yeah, for three weeks approximately, um, for a little bit more than two weeks, uh, for um, a little bit more than two weeks, the first time again to attempt to break this level here. So what would happen if we break this level? So if Bitcoin can close a four hourly and a daily candle above this level here, then I'm almost back in 100% bull mode because then there is nothing Bitcoin stopping to go all the way up to $44,000. So, and once we're at $44,000, there is not much resistance anymore for the Bitcoin price to get here back to $50,000. We have only to break here between 46 and 47,000, uh, let's say $48,000 and then we are already back at 50K. So do I believe that this is now the most likely scenario that's going playing out? Or do I believe that we will actually get here a rejection back to the downside, go sideways and then go up here? So let me show you what I believe is going to happen. Let me go back to the one hourly chart. Uh, actually, I have to switch soon again to the four hourly chart, but it doesn't matter for the time being, let it be. So when we are looking on the EMA ribbon, we can clearly see since this massive pump here that we got and flipped here um, in a bull trend again on the EMA ribbons <clears throat> that we have technically not come back to test the ribbon again. So, and this is always happening at some point. So definitely be prepared for this. So we can still continue to go here a little bit higher. So with the EMA ribbon, but it doesn't change the fact that the Bitcoin price will come back to test the ribbon, no matter how high we go here away from the ribbon right now. So that's why we should be a little bit careful right now. And that's why uh, I am right now not opening a new long position because I wait for this retest of the ribbon. And in that retest there, I uh, will then open 
a new long position. I've actually closed yesterday my long position by breaking here into the 40k range because uh, we were running into this resistance zone. I was not sure if Bitcoin can immediately break through it, but it did break through. Um, sorry, actually all the way up here. So that's where um, I had my target. So, but I was not sure if we can actually break higher than this. And that's why I deemed it better to close my long position um, and to wait and to see what's going to happen. So now in hindsight, I would have obviously better uh, be better if I would have let it run, but it uh, doesn't really matter because profit is profit, guys. And if you have the feeling that you should take profit, you should always take your profit. So, but now, um, where could the Bitcoin price go to once we are correcting um, to retest the EMA ribbon? So on the one hourly chart, I believe it could be around the $40,000 area where the price could come back to, also to test this resistance here again and to flip this into support and then come back up here and continue its way to the upside. But what do I believe based on the four hourly chart? So here it looks a little bit different because you see the Bitcoin price just went totally to the moon um, away from the EMA ribbon. So, and I believe here also, it makes a lot of sense between 40,000 and yeah, basically 40,000, I think that will be the moment where the Bitcoin price will come back to um, and test the ribbon before we continue here uh, to the upside. So, but like I said, that doesn't mean that Bitcoin cannot go slightly higher right now um, and then actually test the ribbon. So what could be another scenario is that the Bitcoin price comes up here over 41,735, starts to go sideways instead of directly immediately correcting. The EMA ribbon comes up here, something like this, and once the price action and the EMA ribbon are much closer to each other, then actually we get the retest and Bitcoin goes all the way back to $40,500, $40,000, then comes above the ribbon, breaks here once again, and then continues the uptrend. So because like I have just shown you here, this is a massive zone for Bitcoin right now um, to take control over. And uh, I am definitely cautious here what's going to happen with the Bitcoin price. I have a lot of money on the sideline waiting to enter into, um, into long positions uh, on Bybit and on Femex. You can also do that with the uh, link in the pin comment below and getting a sign up bonus with these links. But I'm really, really cautious here right now to see what's going to happen with the Bitcoin price action. If we actually can close above here and also stay above this level. So then... Uh, let me also show you on the daily chart. Uh, wait, uh, so here the Wyckoff um, distribution uh, pattern. Here also we have now prematurely broken out of this. So and that was was also one of the scenarios that I had told you guys about that uh, that we could see this actually happening because everybody was seeing. Uh, this Wyckoff pattern. So, and then most of the time when everybody is thinking the same, the unexpected is happening. And that was exactly what I was pointing out a couple of days ago that we could see something like this. And this is ex exactly what, um, yeah, what actually happened. So, uh, but what, what I wanted to show you was the VPVR. So, and here you can see if I go a little bit further back. So that we have now just broken above this crucial um, volume bar here of 41,000. So, and you see between 41,000 uh, 41, and 45,500 approximately, there's not a lot of resistance based on uh, the volume profile. There's actually a gap here in between. So normally when we have these gaps, the Bitcoin price tends to shoot straight up to the next volume, um, to the next longer volume bar. And from there gets then uh, most of the time rejected before then uh, going sideways and moving higher. So that's why I'm a little bit cautious here. So we could technically see $45,500 before we see here a massive rejection just based on the volume profile. But I think with everything that we see right now in Confluence <clears throat> uh, that um, we have to wait first the daily close above uh, $41,735 before we should make here the next move. If you're already in a long position, you can keep the long position open. There's nothing wrong with that if you have opened a long position way below where we are right now. But I would not go and open new long positions 
right now. I would wait a little bit. So then let me also show you Ethereum. Ethereum is also at a crit critical point right now and trying to break here this downward sloping resistance line from this uh, downwards trending channel that Ethereum was in. So and uh, here also we have um, 30 minutes for this four hourly candle to close above this level. So and this here looks already not so strong anymore. Let me have a look here on the volume. So you see here basically only buy volume, but this is also already declining. So if the next candle is not a massive push here directly uh, through this next resistance at thirty uh, at $3,170, then I also believe that we could see here a roll over a retest or even a small um, yeah move below this resistance again before we come up and continue to go into higher levels here. So, but what would be then my next targets for Ethereum? Like I said, $3,170 is a target and potentially $3,358. But um, if you don't want to play here this short, yeah, basically this, the, um, this short term trade here, um, then I would definitely wait for uh, this potential rejection down here, open it close to 3000 or um, just under $3,000, the long position, and then trade this massively to the upside. Um, guys, that's it already for today. Uh, don't forget, I definitely want to have Elon on the channel. So today I mentioned it again. Um, if you enjoyed this content, please leave a like, also subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and I will see you again tomorrow.